Most of the inventory management applications have one big negative. They are impossible to customize to your specific business situation. Not so with QR inventory. Here we can achieve maximum customization by creating and then tracking two types of properties. Product properties and transaction properties. Product trackable properties belong to the product. You can create, keep track of and run reports on product properties such as color, size, maximum power, location in the warehouse, etc. Transaction properties describe qualities of transactions that are important for you to track and run reports on. You can create such transaction properties as client name, project name, PO number. You can also create different types of transactions that fit your business. For example, one business can have transactions such as sales, restocking, customer return, and another can have transactions such as taken for project, return from project, etc. You can assign transaction properties to one or many transactions. For example, transaction taken for project might require employee to enter such transaction qualities as client name and project number and transaction of type sale might require employee to enter PO number. Let's see how easy it is to do this. After logging in, you click on the products, trackable properties in the menu. Several product properties are already in the system, but let's add a new product property. Let's name it max amperes and uh, select number as in try type. I don't want to require it, so I leave it as optional. And enter group wire as group of products that may have this property. I can also select if user will enter the value or select max amperes from several predetermined values in the drop-down menu. Let's do that and type these values. We can add unlimited number of values here. Now we created a new product property. Of course you can edit it at any time. You can also create a product property that would be applied to all product groups. Let's create property shelf that will keep information on where in the warehouse product is located. Now let's explore transaction properties. Two transaction properties that are necessary for any business, transaction date and employee who perform transaction, are created automatically. You do not need to worry about that. So let's create a new transaction property, project name or number. I'm selecting several transaction types that will have this property. And I'm setting this property as required. User will have to enter it or transaction will not go through. This is a short overview of some of the unique QR inventory features, product and transaction properties that allow our customers from various industries to fine-tune the application to their needs. Please do let us know should you have any questions or comments.